So you want to learn how to take your reels from this to looking something just like this. Well, today I'm going to go ahead and break it down step by step. So that way you guys know exactly what you need to do to really spice up your short from content to make it look better. So that way it actually gets more views, more reach, etc. But before we go ahead and get into that, I want to let you guys know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the takeover editing shop where it's so editing assets and presets for short form content creators just like you. It has my LUTs, presets, and viral hook templates. If you guys want to go ahead and check those out, link will be down in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. You are not a lazy content creator. You just don't have the clarity that you need to be posting consistently. So this is just the A-roll just cut up. Very, very simple, um, but it's lacking like that sauce, right? I'm just gonna go in and break it down into about like three parts. The first part is gonna be your camera movements. In my opinion, you could do a full talking head video with text and camera movements and honestly it would be postable and it could perform really really well on instagram i'm actually going to show you guys the actual camera movements the way i'm going to do that is i'm actually just going to select all these camera movements up here i put all my camera movements up top and then everything below so that way it kind of creates like a 3d look when cameras zoom in or zoom out so i'm going to enable all of those adjustment layers like that then we're just going to see how it looks afterwards you are not a lazy content creator you just don't have the clarity that you need to be posting consistently. And as you can see, it just makes the entire A roll look so much more dynamic. So if you're not using that in your short from content edits and you're like, yo, my edits just feel boring and just stale, I got you. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make your own camera movements with adjustment layers. So, first things first, what you guys actually want to go ahead and do is you want to go to your bin or your project bin where you keep all of your uh, files. And then you want to just drag this out until you can see this little icon right here or just right click on the blank space, new item, adjustment layer. And this is gonna create your adjustment layer. So you wanna just drag and drop it into your timeline. Now, if you're pretty cool like me and you have the takeover editing preset pack to the takeover preset pack, you can just go down, find the little camera movement that you want. Let's just do a little punch out for the intro and you guys can see drag and drop. You are not and you have the camera movement done for you. If you want it longer, just drag it out like that. You are not a lazy very chill if you're a newbie and you just have not dived into the realm of presets i'm still going to drop some sauce i'm going to share some info with you so that way you actually know what's going on you want to go over here to the effects tab type in transform drag and drop onto the adjustment layer just like so and then we're going to create a keyframe now keyframes are essentially points in time that correlates to the effect. So that way the difference in keyframes gives you the effect that you're looking for. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a slight zoom in. So so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go from 100 to like 110 scale. Press keyframe right there. And we're just gonna go all the way over here. We're gonna just slide this up to maybe like 108, something super subtle. Now, when you're doing zoom ins, you want it to be very subtle and just super, super chill. Cause if it's too fast, it looks a little cheesy. You don't want that. So drag and drop this keyframe to the end and then we're just gonna go ahead and play it through it's just like so you are not a lazy content creator you just don't have to as you can see it's zooming in now let's say i want to zoom out instead of zoom in you just swap these keyframes so the 108 or 112 is over here and keyframe value 100 is right here now we're gonna play it through it'll zoom out you are not a lazy content creator so that's how you do camera movements inside of Adobe Premiere Pro using adjustment layers. Now that you have camera movements, what you wanna go ahead and do is add in your B-roll. How do you add in B-roll? One, you actually need B-roll. So if you don't have it filmed yourself, one, you can go film it yourself with your iPhone. Legit does not have to be anything crazy clean. Obviously the higher quality, the better, but use what you got. Don't let that stop you from creating. Or two, you can go to Pexels Video or any sort of stock footage website and get the stock footage there and just throw it into your videos. But me personally, I have my own footage. So let's go ahead and play through the video with all of the B-roll so you guys can see the progression of the edit just getting more and more dynamic and fun to watch. You are not a lazy content creator. You just don't have the clarity that you need to be posting consistently. So that's why I built the takeover swipe method to stay on track and to post high quality content. That and as you guys can see with just two B-roll clips, it makes it look so much more interesting and a lot more unique. And that's really what we're going for. So the way you guys actually add in B-roll is very, very simple. So you wanna go ahead and hit Command I or Control I for import and then just find the footage that you want to import as your B-roll. Now, me personally, I've already done it, but say this is the B-roll right here, you just go ahead and hit import, and then you'll see it highlight over here, and then you just go ahead, hit I for like the end point, say you wanna start it right here, and say you wanna end the video right here, O, and it'll create like a little like region, just like this, 
And for B-roll, you only want to add in the video only as that's kind of what makes sense. And then you just resize it if needed. Now, this video doesn't really need to be because it is already vertical. But if your video is horizontal, it might look something like this and you just got to change the rotation to wherever it needs to be. So that's how you import B-roll. Now onto the last and final step of really spicing up your short form content is adding in captions. Now captions, you can make very, very simple or you could actually just add in some animations to them and just spice them up. We're gonna only talk about making them look simple and then we'll break down on the end how to actually make your captions look really, really good with animation. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead, check out the video without captions. You are not a lazy content creator. All right, word. Not the best looking, but it's not the worst, you know? So we're gonna go back over here, and play through with the captions. You are not a lazy content creator. Now that the captions are actually on, you can see what the adjustment layer above everything, including the text really does. It makes the text move with the camera, which makes it look like it's actually tracked to your footage, which looks really, really good. You are not a lazy content creator. First things first, to get text, how do you do that? Um, for your talking head videos, you wanna just actually go ahead over here to text, transcript, transcribe the thing. Go over here to captions, it'll say create captions. And then you just go ahead and go through that little setting. I'm not gonna do that because I actually already did. Um, but essentially, it would give you a caption layer up here you'd make sure that they're good. And then you would write, you'd select all of the text, right click, go over to graphics and titles, and then you just go to upgrade caption to graphic. And then you'll have it down here just like this. So you could actually like edit like a normal video layer. Okay, cool. So that's how you do the normal captions. How do you actually go ahead and do an effect like this? Now this is actually very, very simple. And to start your captions are probably gonna look something like this. So what you need to do is actually, you need to go over to the properties tab and adjust the sizing that you want it to be. So like content, let's just say we wanna keep it like that. Um, and then we're gonna go over here, same exact process. We're just gonna change it to whatever size you want using this right here. And then you can change the position of it, right? Like so, um, but here's how we actually make it like stay on screen together. So you wanna drag this up a layer, drag this out. So that way they're both on the screen at the same time. And then what you guys wanna do for the sort of clear metallic sort of look, um, you wanna go to the blend mode difference and it's going to do that sort of see-through sort of effect and it looks really really clean so now i'm going to show you guys how to do this text effect you just have the clarity that you need to be so as you can see it's, it's like a stacked topography sort of effect and this first one right back here to add depth i made it blurry and legit all i did i just nested the sequence together threw on a gaussian blur effect and then turn it up to where it looked good on the footage so that's that but i do want to show you guys like how to actually do this sort of effect because it's very simple legit all it is is the same exact technique that we went over before but just adding a creative sort of flair to it by changing the size the positioning in the lineup of everything i also added a drop shadow so that way there's like depth i have it this size right here but over here you can change the scale and like position to really place it where you want it to be and then there you go you guys have like that creative sort of text effect but anyways that is a breakdown of how i edit my short from content very very simply with just three sort of effects or layers i guess to the edit if you guys want to go ahead and watch me actually edit my own real like step-by-step -step, very raw video um, using my own presets or just my own workflow. Go ahead and check out the video on screen right now. And remember to check out my shop down below. Remember guys, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.